there is something wrong with me and um, I, I, I sense it, I feel it, but I don't know what it is. I, I love to act, or so I believe, as far as now is concerned. Um, I always want to keep working to fill in the time. 99% of the things that I use so shamelessly in films is an experience which is very close to my heart. There is nothing left in my life I feel that I want to do for myself. So it's a very strange, selfless, selfish place. I come from a very normal, low middle class family. I saw a lot of failure. My father was a beautiful man and the most successful failure in the world. My mother also failed to stay long, long enough with me to see me become a big movie star. At an early age after my parents died, I equated poverty with failure. And I somehow developed the sense of detachment, the sense of false bravado, which I show in public, to cover up uh, <clears throat> the sadness affecting my life. So a part of me keeps on working <clears throat> round the clock, keeps on being happy in spite of things which are said about me, or make a joke about things that I do, but still keep doing them. Because if I did not do it, I think I would be in the same state of potassium deficiency and depression. So to avoid depression, I act. Um, it's much larger than to earn money or be a big star or do endorsements or dance at weddings, which I joke about. And this is the God's honest truth. I think this is the most honest I've ever been in my life to anyone. But somewhere there is this feeling of emptiness. So I have this restlessness, this uh, loneliness, this strangeness, this unfulfilledness, uh, which I feel I'm going to fill it in with as much acting as much I can give. When I think of the reason that I do what I do this for, whether it is because I lost my parents early, I can't keep on harping about it. Everybody loses parents and it's all right. Get over it. The reason to go and act is not like I said, the crores or number one, number two or number 203 or 40, 45 and 100 crore and 200. Nah, I don't want it anymore. I've got everything, much more than a boy is sitting on the roundabout in Kamari Auditorium watching cars go by because his father can't afford to buy a film ticket. Can have. You can't take that away from me. You, can't, you can take away the awards, the money. You can't take away the fact that I became Shah Rukh Khan. I became somebody else. I don't deride myself or deprecate myself when I say I'm kind of capitalist. It is just that I am a survivor who wants to live well and think well. And I think all youngsters should believe that. As much as I love calling my dad a successful failure, I'd like to be just bloody successful. That's all. And they're right when they say, I didn't believe it. But believe you me, it is very lonely at the top. So you have to, you have to, have to be lonely when you try to be successful. There are times when I feel, I still feel lonely. There are days when I feel very sad at my failures. The sea in front of my bungalow makes me feel just as little as it did 10 years ago. I cannot answer a question which is asked to me in every interview. What is the real Shah Rukh Khan like? I don't know. Maybe there is no real left, real me left anymore. Maybe there is no real emotion left, which I haven't done in front of the camera already. Maybe I'm just an act now. Only those who love illusion and know it will go far. Otherwise, we spend our lives in a confusion of what we say and do with who we really are. And the only way I keep it sane is by clinging to the only person I know the best, myself, all alone. But to be alone amidst millions of admirers is no tragedy at all. It is beautiful. I spread out my hands, close my eyes. I can hear the storm fans loud and clear. I see my son's face. He thinks I'm a hero. He knows I have wings. I know too, God is kind and with me. I also know I can fly. I let go, I'm flying, and so is the rest of the world with me.